safety of air travel and Boeing in hot water this morning. The Justice Department has taken a new step that could lead to criminal prosecution of the company over two deadly crashes involving a certain model of the 737. ABC's Lionel Moise has the details. New trouble for Boeing. The Justice Department accuses the company of violating a settlement that was reached after two deadly plane crashes. Companies have, are, are threatened and put under agreements um, by the Justice Department, but it's extremely rare that a company actually violates the agreement. The agreement allowed Boeing to avoid criminal prosecution after the crashes involving its 737 MAX jets in 2018 and 2019. In exchange, it was required to follow certain safety procedures, but in a new letter, prosecutors claim Boeing has failed to design, implement, and enforce a compliance and ethics program to prevent and detect violations throughout its operations. The Justice Department says Boeing is now subject to prosecution, though the department is still determining how it will proceed in this matter. Boeing is one of the largest and most powerful companies in the United States. It supports tens of thousands of jobs across the country. It supplies our military with planes and different weapon systems. But on the flip side, the families who lost people uh, in those two crashes, they want justice. Those two MAX jet crashes killed hundreds of people. The first in Indonesia killed all 189 passengers and crew. The second in Ethiopia, 157. A congressional investigation found Boeing failed in its design and development of the MAX. The father of Samaya Stumo, a 24-year-old from Massachusetts killed in the Ethiopia crash, says he's very pleased the Department of Justice found Boeing in breach. Now this has opened Boeing up to a extraordinary amount of scrutiny um, and a number of investigations. Responding to the Justice Department's letter, Boeing said, we believe that we have honored the terms of that agreement and look forward to the opportunity to respond to the department on this issue. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.